Now, Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, good afternoon. You know, we've got the wind, we've got the cooler air, and we've got some rain coming down right now. This is Doppler radar, and you can see those showers as they're increasing from the south and pulling northward this evening. In fact, some of these moving toward Corpus Christi, some light rain developing around Corpus Christi right now, and that will increase as that moves northward. Also near Kingsville and out toward uh, Premont and riding up Highway 281. So light to a few moderate showers continuing to move across the area tonight, and these will be persistent until probably midnight and then we'll see them quickly ending. Temperatures are cooling. We're in the 50s right now. It's 56 degrees at Alice to 55 degrees in Corpus Christi. Look at that wind. Yes, it has been picking up and we see that 24 mile an hour sustained wind right now in Corpus Christi, 18 at Orange Grove. And as we go through the night, they're going to become rather gusty. You might want to secure those trash cans outdoors or any loose objects as tonight we're looking at those 20 to 30 mile an hour winds gusting to 40. There is a wind advisory for the coast and gale warnings for the coastal and offshore waters. Tomorrow morning, the winds start to come down a little, but they're still pretty strong early in the morning, up until mid morning, and then they improve in the afternoon, gradually coming down. And by the time we get into the trick or treat hours, the wind will be lighter, but still a cold breeze blowing. Tonight's low temperatures, look at how cool it's going to be tonight, dropping down into near 40 well inland, mid 40s right at the coast with that wind. Oh, that wind's going to make these feel like the 30s by morning. Morning. Yeah, it's going to be awfully cold to start the day, but we will have clearing skies tomorrow. You'll see the sunshine, but we're also going to stay only in those 50s to near 60 degrees tomorrow at 1 o'clock, 53. Still pretty breezy out there and 57 here by 5 o'clock in the evening with high temperatures nearing 60 in some of our south counties and in the upper 50s elsewhere tomorrow. So a good day to bring out those sweatshirts and those sweaters you've been waiting to wear, the boots perhaps. Why not, right? It's going to be cool the next couple of days. For Halloween, the kids may want to bundle up tomorrow evening as we're going to see those temperatures dropping down to near 50 by 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. Again, fortunately, the wind is dying down and we don't have any rain with that. And then by the time we get into Friday morning, take a look at these lows, upper 30s, low 40s. Now, this is not a record, though. The record for Friday morning in Corpus Christi is 39 to start November. But it's going to be cold enough, so you'll have to really uh, maybe turn that heat up tomorrow night, especially, or put a blanket, an extra blanket on the bed. So here's what we have coming at us the next few days. Tomorrow morning, here's our front, and you can see how the clouds clear out. We have sunshine as that high pressure builds across the area. Winds will gradually die down. And then as we get into Friday, as the winds shift around, we'll pick up a few more clouds and we'll start to warm up a little bit. So we'll see those temperatures modifying, but rather than continuing to warm, we're going to stall that out a little bit as the next weaker front comes through Saturday. It's not much of a front, but it will keep us in that mild air as high pressure builds once again. Now as we get into Sunday and Monday, those winds shift back around. We start warming back up and we'll introduce rain chances. The next cold front looks like it's going to approach Tuesday and that will increase our chance of showers and temperatures by the time we get to Tuesday could make it into the low 80s. But for the weekend, it's still mild with those chilly nights, mild days. Sunday looks a little warmer at 71. Here's your seven day forecast. This is brought to you by AutoNation. AutoNation will purchase your car even if you don't purchase a vehicle from them. Shop now at the AutoNation lot near you. So all in all, we're looking at that big change through tomorrow. The wind gradually subsides down to 41 tomorrow night, upper 30s inland. There's that nice warming through the weekend. This weekend, by the way, we return to standard time. So you're going to set your clocks back before going to bed Saturday night and then as we head into next week we start warming back up as we see rain chances returning.